that asylum seekers who've waited over a year for a decision on their case can now work in care homes. It's hoped that the decision will help to ease the recruitment crisis in the sector. Up to 32,000 asylum seekers are eligible for jobs as care workers after they were added to the government's shortage occupation list. I'm joined by Joyce Pinfield. She's a spokeswoman for the National Care Association. Joyce, uh, welcome. I want to ask you, do you think that we should use asylum seekers to plug these, the staffing shortages in care in the care sector? We are suffering and have done very, you know, historically for a very long time about massive workforce shortages. We desperately need more people into the workforce. The uh, main problem, of course, is the funding. The local authorities aren't able to pay the correct wage so that we can introduce people from uh, from our own sector. This has been one of the major problems behind being able to do recruitment. So. The uh, carers were put on the shortage occupation list, but unfortunately there is a minimum wage on there of £20,480, which indeed, even some, we do struggle to pay that with the fees that are paid by local authorities. So to be able to widen the pool of where we can actually bring social care workers in from is, of course, of a great benefit to everyone who needs care. At present, there are so many unmet care needs and people indeed who are receiving care but are having their care reduced. It's an absolutely awful situation out there at the moment that so many people have so many unmet care needs and a lot of it is really down to finance and workforce shortages. However, we do need to be able to bring into the sector social care workers working in the industry, in care homes and in the community in domiciliary care who are have the right feelings, who have the right nature and the ability to give care to the people that they are looking after, because we are looking after the most vulnerable people in society. And yes, we do need quite a lot of training. And so if these people who I believe have had to be on the list for over 12 months are brought into the sector, it should be a great help because we are really looking for people to come and help us in the sector to provide the care, but they will need training and be able and suitable to be able to do that care for the people that we are looking after.